You're booking your ticket online and you see other formats like 3D or Atmos alongside the standard ones. All listed at completely different price points. But what's the difference between all these movie formats offered by various cinema chains and how do you choose between them? Let's first look at the most common one, standard. There's nothing flashy to them, just the average rows of seating with a big screen and basic sound system, usually priced around 8 to 15 ringgit depending on the chain. Then there's 3D, the one with heavy glasses. But the popularity of 3D movies have dropped over the years. Some people just find it gimmicky and expensive. Although 3D is still an option, that's not where the hype is. IMAX was derived from the words maximum image. Its theaters are known for its very large wall-to-wall -wall and floor-to-ceiling curved screens supposed to surround your field of vision. It costs you around 20 to 25 ringgit, depending on which cinema location you choose. But IMAX is not just a cinema hall in PGB. IMAX movie cameras are used on set to capture and process higher image resolution with a larger film frame, so images look clearer and more magnified on screen. Every IMAX theater is custom designed, even their sound system. There are six high-quality speakers installed using laser light to intensify the way sound travels around a hall. But IMAX screens have shrunk in size due to limited space in walls and high rental costs. Depending on the cinema's location, you might actually be getting a smaller screen. Their solution? Move the screen closer to you. And Malaysia actually once had the original full-size hall in Pajaya Times Square. But due to poor business, it had to shut down before GSE took over and rebranded it into Max in 2010. GSC Max currently holds the position of having the largest screen in Malaysia. It incorporates dual digital projectors, providing the most optimal brightness for its huge screen, and steeper stadium seating too, so that no hits are obstructing your view. It costs 11 to 26 ringgit depending on its location. GSC Max theaters are also equipped with THX certified Dolby Atmos surround sound systems, Atmos standing for atmosphere. Individual speakers are placed around the hall, so sound comes from every direction. So if you see a helicopter flying on screen above you from the left to the right, it's what you hear from the speakers too. 7.1. I can now be on the side, then behind, then behind, and then to the side again. This technology gives sound designers the freedom to calibrate them so that each individual buzz or boom travels through each speaker, matching what you see on screen. But not all Mac screens are created the same. Some have slightly smaller screens, while IOI City Mall carries state-of-the-art Barco 4K digital projection systems, which simply means you're getting crisper, brighter, higher-resolution images for more vibrant colors. Some halls even come with the added D-Box feature. Just like the 4D experience, you're basically on a roller coaster ride. But a rebranding couldn't save the GSE Max Hall in Times Square. It closed down for the same reasons IMAX did in 2017. MBO has their very own big screen. It's similar to IMAX for its panoramic curved screen and GSC Max for its sound system. But big screen stands out with their 4K laser projectors. So laser projector is the next level digital projection. Yes. Of course, because it is laser, then we have a very consistent brightness, contrast and also the sharpness. Big screen separates their hall into standard and VIP seats. The latter one's positioned further from the screen, costing 14 to 27 ringgit depending on the day. Though they claim to have the biggest screen in Malaysia, a quick search tells us that GSE Max still holds this record. Because MBO is newer to the game, it's not as popular as its competitors, but it does marry the features of both experiences. Now let's talk about Onyx, Samsung's LED screen which first launched in Malaysia in June of 2018 by GSC. It now has halls in TGV and MBO too. The newest edition of large screens claims to deliver ultra-sharp, high-definition, accurate color presentation and distortion-free images in 4K. These screens are basically a giant TV, using LED backlight to transmit visuals onto itself, eliminating the need for projectors. Malaysia currently has the largest Onyx screen in the world. Your audio uses Harman's JBL surround sound system, which claims to allow audiences in every row to experience a clear and balanced sound, unlike a standard cinema hall where only the middle seats are sweet spots for the best sound. Prices range from 20 to 25 ringgit depending on what chain you go to. So if you want a more visual experience where the screen surrounds your peripheral vision, then go for the curved screens on IMAX or big screen. But if you're an audiophile, those Dolby systems and big screen or Max are hard to beat. If you're just going to watch a rom-com with your partner, there's no need to watch it in IMAX. The standard hall is good enough. They have couple seats too. Deciding between which cinema hall to go to is dependent on what experiences you value that fits your budget. So now when you're buying a movie ticket, you know exactly what your options include. 